Rise and shine. Breakfast is ready in 10 minutes. And don't make me come back up there. This is our town. It's a close-knit community, the kind of place where everyone knows everyone. Hi, Miss J. Hey, how are you girls? And we're always there for each other. Nice sermon, Pastor. What do you guys have on for the rest of the day? Well, John has a basketball game. Yeah, I've seen this guy hoop it up around here. This kid is so lit. Hey, I'm a dust in the sun. Text your mom tomorrow and tell her when and where to pick you up. And uh, don't do anything stupid. Love you guys. <laughs> Boys, get off the ice! We're training for the Olympics, sir! Cindy! John! He's been underwater for more than 15 minutes. It's gonna be a recovery, not a rescue. I got something. We got him! We've done everything medically possible. There's nothing more we can do. <laughs> no. Please, God, send your Holy Spirit to save my son. A 14-year-old St. Charles boy who spent 15 minutes trapped underwater is continuing to fight for his life. I don't believe John will survive the night. You don't know my son. He is a fighter. So I need you to be the best for John, and you just let God do the rest. You are my pride and joy. I can't wait to see you shoot those baskets and run up and down the court again. The Smith family asked for one thing. Please pray for John. In the water that day, I was ready to give up. But then I hear this voice telling me, go back. Either I'm nuts or God's talking to you. But I don't believe in God. I believe, but maybe that only goes so far with something like this. I'm your pastor. I'm supposed to walk alongside you for as long as it takes. Did you see the Facebook page? It's gone viral. Call me. I hope he's going to be OK. We're not going to get through this alone. Whatever you have for me, for Brian, for John, I surrender. I will call upon your name. Hi guys, here's today's daily fact now to close the 20,000 extras for the film Schindler's List. Costume designers took out ads seeking clothing. Now, due to poor economic conditions in Poland, many people were eager to sell clothes from the 1930s and 40s they still owned. Now, click here below to subscribe for more content on the side to watch another video. See ya.